Virgo. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Page of Swords. The deck creator describes this page as wild and relentless in her action and always ready to dive into something crazy. However, that is not the energy I am getting. This girl looks anxious to me. She holds that sword like she is ready to defend herself if she needs to. And with all the clouds around her, I feel like she is confused. She has so many thoughts but no clarity. I think what you need to be aware of is you need to know what you want and not be scared of it before you go towards it. Your obstacle is the Ace of Pentacles sideways. This card upright is all about enjoying life and what makes you happy. I see nothing but growth and abundance on this card and the universe handing you your happiness represented by the sun. Your obstacle is you may have not accepted it when it was offered and now you don't know if that particular person or situation is still available. I think following on from that page, maybe you have worked out what you want but fear you have missed it and are too scared to check. In the past position, we have justice in reverse. I feel like you are feeling the consequences of past actions and choices with this card in reverse. And I will read a paragraph from the deck creator. It says, you have to take responsibility for every choice you make. If you drift through life without examining your choices and what they say about you and your values, you'll never be truly self-aware and you may find yourself treating others with dishonesty and unfairness. There may be a difficult issue that you need to examine or a social responsibility that you've been neglecting. It's time to stand up. It's time to do the right thing. In the future position, we have the Ten of Pentacles sideways. This card is about 3D abundance, having everything you need and being able to comfortably make ends meet. I feel like with this card, you may be faced with the question, is money enough? Have you overlooked relationships and other parts of your life because all your time and energy has gone into your work and career for financial security? Sometimes financial security can be lonely if we have no one to share it with. Let's get an Oracle card from the Angels and Ancestors deck. Let's see what other messages we have. Can we get a card for Virgo, please? Card for Virgo. Whoop. We've actually had two pop out, so we'll go with both. We've got Heart Guardian, Love and Let Yourself Be Loved, and Air Guardian, Shift Your Perception. I'll read both of these. Um, once I find them. Okay, we'll start with Air Guardian. Change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. The Air Guardian card represents the angel of the air element. Traditionally, air is all about thoughts, thinking, and everything that happens in the mind. So these angels can help you to overcome any thoughts you have come back to haunt you from the past and to see the world more clearly. They are guiding you to change the way you think about certain situations, as this could be standing between you and greatness. Extended message. When this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about your way of thinking you are being guided to recognize that not, not all you see is exactly the way you see it. Sometimes the mind can play games and sometimes our perception can be wrong. If you are being challenged or feel that there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at the moment, there's a good chance the way you're thinking or what you're focusing on has a lot to do with that reality. You are being guided to open your eyes and your mind. Go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognize that the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Opportunities are moving in your direction, but they will only open up for you if you are ready to do the internal work to support them. Okay, now we'll find Heart Guardian. Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love. 
The heart guardian is an angel, sorry, is an angelic energy that can help you call for protection and guidance with all issues surrounding the heart. This is essentially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, family, or even a romantic connection. She can enable you to move beyond any limiting fears about trust, discern whom to trust, and understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. In this card, she is adorned with a sacred heart and a draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way. Extended message. You are love, lovable and loving. The energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessing that you have to offer. They want you to know that you are a highly lovable being who deserves to give and receive love. If you are finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or are in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope something in this reading resonates for you.